Hello and welcome to another video on integration techniques. We'll continue with examples that are off by a constant. And remember what that means is when we make the substitution and we choose u to be something that is inside this integral, the du or the derivative uh, is inside the integral but is off by a constant. And I remember that's not a problem because we always can uh, fix that by doing some division. So let's go ahead and compute this integral here, which is going to be something of those cases of by a constant. So to choose a u, remember, u has to be something here. And as I mentioned uh, sometimes here, the u is usually an expression under the square root, the root or denominator, or the argument of some function. In this particular case, I think it will be wise to use uh, the expression that is under the square root. So in this case, it will be 4 plus x squared here. So I'm going to use that for my u. So let's do that in here. So u will be uh, 4 plus x squared. Now, and that's all that I have to do in the step number one. Just choose my u. Now, the second step is take the derivative of that expression. So the du would be equal to whatever the derivative of that is. The derivative of 4, of course, is 0. And the derivative of x squared is 2x. So I get 2x dx. Now, as you notice here, this 2x dx does not appear exactly in my integral. I only have x dx. And let me scroll up over here. I only have the x dx there inside the integral. But we are off by a constant. That's the purpose of this example, being off by a constant. And we can actually fix that really uh, easy. I just have to divide by the constant that I'm off. So I'm off by the constant 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 2. Uh, on both sides of that expression that I have there. So in this particular case, I'll have du divided by 2 equals to x dx. And now x dx appears exactly in my integral and is equal to the du divided by 2. Now I'm done. So what I can do here is now make the actual substitution. So I'm going to substitute whatever I did in the steps one and two. So I'm going to put down the uh, integral again. So you can see uh, what this is the integral, the original one. I'm going to rewrite it like this. So you can see while well, the substitution, I'm going to split it up into a product. This is going to be one over the square root of four plus x squared. And that's times x dx. So the only thing I did here really was just express this in this particular way. If you look at this expression and this one, they are exactly the same expression. And the only reason I did that is because you can, because you can see now uh, a little bit easy what the substitution will be. Now, remember that we call this expression inside the integral. We call that u. That was step number one. And this guy that is over here, this x dx, let me scroll back here again. Uh, x dx is du divided by 2. So I'll have uh, du divided by 2. So if I make the substitution here, let me uh, choose the white color again. So that will be the integral of 1 over the square root of u, because I'm substituting here. This is u, and then times uh, x dx, which is du, divided by 2. And that should supposed to be an easier integral. If it is not easier, that means we fail using substitution. Now, this is actually easier because one thing I can do here is if you look at the denominator here, this 2 that you see here, I can just, just pull it out of the integral. So it's going to be 1 half of the integral of 1 over the square root of u and just du. Now, I need to integrate this, this expression that is here. It's a fraction. Uh, but I can do it like this. I'm going to rewrite this square root as a power, which is a one-half power. So this is exactly the same as one-half of the square root of one over uh, u to the one-half. And I'm assuming here that u is positive in this particular case, which it is if you look at what the substitution is. So that's going to be uh, the new expression. Now, I cannot really uh, integrate this now. I have to spread this as a power. So I can actually write down that last expression that you see there inside the integral and this is going to be u to the negative one half du. I'm using the law of exponents. 
So this expression that is here is exactly the same as this one. Just think about it this way. You take this, put it on the denom on the numerator, and just change the sign of the exponent. Now this is one of the basic rules of integration, which is the rule for exponents. So I can actually go over here and say, okay, I still have the one half outside times, and this is one over the exponent plus one. So it's going to be negative one half plus one, and then the variable, which is u to the negative one half plus one, and don't forget to add the constant of integration in this particular case. So I can simplify this whole thing now. So then this is going to be one half times one over, and this expression here in this denominator, negative one half plus one, is just one half, and then times u. Okay, the same situation here, negative one half plus one is just one half. Don't forget the constant plus c. Now I can go ahead actually and cancel out the um, the one half that I have here with this one. And so finally I'll get just equal to u to the one half uh, plus plus c. Uh, and that would be the answer, except that I still have to replace back what the variable u is in this particular case. Now the variable u here is this one here, which is, if you scroll up, let me scroll up all the way up here. What was the variable u? u was, from step one, was four plus x squared. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace that expression over there, four plus x squared. So then the final answer here will be, this is gonna be uh, four plus x squared all to the one half plus c. And I can rewrite this in terms of the square root because any power to the one half, uh, that will be the square root. So this is gonna be the square root of four plus x squared and then plus c. And that expression that you see here, this will be the final answer. You can double check that this is actually the answer by taking the derivative of this using the chain rule for exponent and you will get back the original expression inside the integral. So what's the that was an example of when you're off by a constant. You just divide by that constant. This is another example on the substitution, but this is a variation in the substitution method, meaning that uh, this is not going to be off by a constant uh, and the substitution won't be perfect, but we'll kind of still do the substitution and express any everything in terms of the variable u. So let's look at this example. So we want to uh, integrate uh, this fraction. Uh, the numerator is x and the denominator is the cubic root of x plus two, all the x. So let's go to the usual uh, thing, which is, first of all, we need to choose what u is. And as you can always guess, it's gonna be, in this particular case, uh, this expression that is under the square root. So I'm gonna call u equals x plus two. So my u will be just the x plus two, the expression that is under uh, this the cubic root in this particular case. The second thing uh, I need to find the du. So du uh, will be the derivative of x, which is one. So it's going to be one. And the derivative of two is zero. So I don't have to write it down. So it's one, uh, one dx only. Now of course this du appears in the integral. That's uh, the dx that you see here. So this part x plus two is u and this is the du. But I still have an x there that I need to substitute by u. So because when you do the substitution, you should write down everything inside here in terms of the variable u. You cannot have the mixed variable x and u exactly in the same integral because the purpose of substitution is to make everything in terms of the variable u. But I still have the x here. I know this x plus two is u and this is the du. So how about this x that is here? To actually do that, if you look at the first step, step number one here, this one, I can actually say what x is. And the only thing I have to do here is I need to solve for x, for the variable x. If you actually do that, then x will be equal to u minus two. Then I, in this particular case, then I have everything in terms of the variable u. This x that is here is u minus two. This x plus two is u. 
and the dx is just the du. So I can use those, all that information here to express everything in terms of the variable. That's what I mean by variation of the substitution method. Is It's not off by a constant, you know, like it's not exactly a perfect substitution, but you can still do the substitution here. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down the integral again. So the integral was, uh, let's recall that, so it's gonna be x over the cubic root of x plus two uh, dx. So what we have here is that this guy, x is u minus two. Uh, this expression under the radical is just u. And this dx that you see here is just the du. So if I write down again, all in terms of the variable u, then I'll have u minus two on top, and I will have the cubic root of u in the denominator, and I will have the du here. Now, the purpose of the substitution is also that the integral should be easier than the original. This is the original, and that's the new one. Now, I claim this is easier because now I can express this uh, this uh, fraction here in terms of powers of u. And to do that, the only thing I'm gonna do here is, of several, one of the first thing is, I'm gonna write down this, the cubic root in terms of a power. So this is exactly the same as the integral of u minus two uh, divided all by u to the one third, and then du. Now, if I do that, I can go ahead and distribute this u to the one third to this u into this negative two here. Um, and I can do that because that's uh, just algebra. This is gonna be u over u to the one third uh, minus uh, two u to the one third. And I'm gonna put a parenthesis here just because uh, that's two, uh, two terms there. So this expression that is here is exactly the same as this expression that is over here. If you actually subtract these two fractions, you get exactly this expression over here. So, and the advantage of doing that is because now I can use the law of exponents, u over u to the one third is just u to the one minus one third. So I can write it down like this. This is gonna be u to the one minus one third using the law of exponents, that's just algebra, minus two and thus u to the negative one third. For the second part here, for this guy that is u to the negative one third, just uh, you can put this guy here on top and then you just change the the sign of the exponent, which is another, also another uh, rules of exponents here. So I can go ahead and actually say one minus one third is two thirds. So I have uh, the integral of u to the two thirds minus two u to the negative one third. The second part, I didn't do anything. I just, uh, in this step, I only uh, perform this uh, subtraction here. One minus one third is, is two thirds. Now this integral is definitely easier than the original because this is a subtraction of this power and this other power here with this two here. And I can actually use uh, the integration, the basic group of integration for powers which is just add one to the exponent and divide by the same exponent. So what I have to do here is for this particular power, for this one, I can write down, this is gonna be one over uh, two thirds plus one, u to two thirds plus one, that is the integral of the first part minus two uh, times one over negative one third plus one, u to the negative one third plus one, and don't forget uh, the constant of integration. Uh, the only thing I did here was in both cases, uh, we apply the power rule uh, for integrals. Uh, this particular case uh, that you see here, let me just, uh, this one, the integral is this, applying the power rule for integrals, and this one was applying the power rule here. All right, so let's see what uh, what we get here. So we get one over uh, one, one plus two thirds is five thirds, and you can double check that, so it's gonna be five thirds, and this is gonna be u to the five thirds also.
because it's exactly the same. So this expression here is exactly the same as that one. So we simplify to this and then minus uh, two times one over uh, negative one third plus one, that's two thirds. So it's gonna be two thirds here, and two thirds, and that's u to the two thirds. And don't forget the add, to add the constant there, plus c. We can simplify this a little bit more. So uh, uh, one over uh, five thirds is just three fifths because you just uh, flip over uh, the fraction minus two. And I can go ahead and do this here. So I can just uh, cancel out this two with this two. And this expression that is here becomes one over one third, which is just uh, three. So that will give me just three here. That's gonna be three. That multiplies uh, u to the two to the two thirds, and then plus c. So don't forget to add the constant always there at the end. So that's uh, we are pretty much done here. So you see here now I have now the integral in terms of u now. You cannot just leave it like that because this is an integral with respect to the variable x. So I have to replace back this variable u that is here. So the variable u, uh, if you let's scroll, scroll, scroll all the way up, the variable u was x plus 2. So I'm going to replace that x plus 2 there for uh, the variable u that you see there. So I'm going to get, so this is 3 fifths of x plus 2 to the 5 thirds minus 3 uh, x plus 2 to the 2 thirds and then plus c. Uh, that would be um, the answer now. You can simplify a little bit further. One more thing you can do actually for simplification is um, you can factor out x plus 2 to the 2 thirds uh, here from the first two uh, terms that you see here actually 3x plus 2 to the 2 thirds and then simplify a little bit further um, um, that's one way you can uh, do this just another simplification it's just a way to present the answer uh, one more thing I want to do here to, I'm not going to do that but I'm going to write down uh, thing these things in terms of uh, the roots because this here is the cubic root so this will be uh, the cubic root of x plus 2 uh, to the fifth power minus 3 and then that would be the cubic root of x plus 2 square and then plus c. Either this answer that is here or the one that you get from uh, factoring out 3x plus 2 to the 2 thirds that would be the final answer for for this problem. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. One thing you can also do is if you're not sure that this is correct you can actually go ahead and compute the derivative of this expression and you will have to get the original expression that it was inside the integral. So that's the end of this video. So uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video with another example of variation of the substitution method.